Guys, we need to talk about Forspoken, the new game that is out now and it is being review bombed to hell and back again. I'm here to debunk some of the critique that the game is getting. I have played Forspoken for 25 hours already and here is my brutally honest review of it. It's an open world RPG with magically speedy parkour traversal and spell casting action based combat. Developed by Luminous Productions and published by Square Enix. It has now recently been released to PS5 and PC. I am playing it on PS5. And it is a game that has actually gotten so much negativity, so many terrible reviews, and I am shocked. Now the critique for this game is that it has poor writing. They are saying that it is an empty open world. I've heard that one before. But probably most of all, people are saying that the protagonist of this game is a very unlikable protagonist. Now, I have played a ton of games where the protagonist is not the typical protagonist. I guess I could compare it to Tales of the Abyss, where you have this terrible protagonist that was angry all the time, and then you have some character progression, that sort of cliche route. So you play as this 20-year-old New Yorker who lives alone with her cat Homer, and she is wishing for a better life for herself. She was found in some city tunnels as a baby, adding to her tragic backstory. She comes across some magical bracelet that talks to her and she is whisked away through a dimensional portal to the fantastical land of Athea, a world at the brink of destruction with a plague called the break terrorizing the land and its people. I started this game with little to no prior knowledge of the story or anything. I had only seen some gameplay and I requested a review code and I think I mentioned that in my previous video also that I was uh, going to play this. Now what initially piqued my interest the most was the way that the combat was and the magical parkour traversal across the open world. You know, I'm a sucker for that sort of thing. But I had not seen any reviews going into this game so I was not influenced by anyone's opinion. So that is pretty much how I made up my own opinion from the get-go, which I recommend everyone to do. And let me just tell you, I played for six hours straight in my first setting. I couldn't put this game away. And you're probably hearing where this is going. I am actually liking the game. Now I want to say to everyone, don't be influenced by the bad reviews. Don't be influenced because negativity drives a lot of clicks here on YouTube. It is more popular to make a negativity review. More people are definitely gonna click on that. And I, I don't think that this game is as terrible as everyone is pointing it out to be. Now, personal opinion of course, of course you can dislike this game. I just happen to really enjoy it. So let's talk a little bit more about the gameplay. How is the game actually? But first I want you guys to check out today's a sponsor, PlayStation Norway. They have now just released a new DualSense, DualSense Edge for the PlayStation 5. A new wireless Bluetooth controller comes with this sleek bag and a braided cord. And this is a highly customizable controller. This is the premium experience if you want the best controller for your PlayStation experiences right now. It has back buttons, swappable stick caps, the ability to remap buttons and swap between controller profiles on the fly. It is very heavy. It is now by far the most heavy controller that I own. It is super ergonomical, so comfortable. But maybe actually what I like the most about this controller is the ability to have trigger buttons have a shorter travel distance, making it more comfortable to play games for a longer period of time that relies heavily on trigger button gameplay. Like for Spoken, you can also customize each individual dead zones for the triggers in the settings. You can swap out the actual analog sticks, guys. Design-wise, it's a tiny bit different from the regular PS5 controller. And this is a must-have for the professional gamers or the people that want to have the most premium gaming experience. So sleek, so hard high quality, comes with this bag, a lot of buttons that you can change out and stuff. Check out the PlayStation DualSense Edge controller everyone, brand new. Thank you PlayStation for sponsoring this video. So in Forspoken, so far in my playthrough, this city that you're seeing right now works as the main hub with shops, citizens, side quests and stuff. And then you have the absolutely gigantic, massive open world with several types of maps. Now I saw a review actually saying that the maps were terrible in this game. These are the worst maps I've ever seen in a video game. I don't think he um, knew about the 3D map. 
if you zoom in on the map you get this 3D look of the entire environment and I think this is a genius map. Seeing the terrain, you can actually see climbing points on the cliffs, all sorts of stuff. It has several biomes that you can run around and traverse in and it has tons of, and I do mean tons of, collectibles and things to do all across the map as you can see here on this world map. I mean this game is giving me serious Assassin's Creed Origins vibe you know that map I loved running around and doing all the things on the map now people are saying that this that's another thing people are saying that it just feels like a big chore and a big checklist now I have said this several times before that I love uncovering maps going to every location seeing the map being filled more with the stuff that I have done that sort of thing now I am loving Cuffs's voice your actual bracelet in the game loving his voice the entire game it's all also very cat focused. A lot of cat emphasis. I mean Frey has a cat and you also collect spiritual cats around the world. That sort of thing. Now the magical combat it just gets better and better the further into the game that you get because you get several different let's say magical profiles and skill sets that you can swap between. And boy there are so many spells. I heard there are over 100 spells in this game. And guys what I'm loving the most are the spell quests. You have quests within each spell so that you can upgrade each and every spell. That is so satisfying. How genius is this? It gives me an incentive to fight a lot in different styles that I wouldn't normally do, I think. By doing these spell quests and trying to max out all of my spells, getting them as powerful as I can, leveling them up and stuff, progressing in this way, I think it is genius. Now in the settings of this game you can actually make it so that you can automatically pop the support spells that has been cooled down, automatically rotate between them, I highly suggest that setting. Also I suggest auto picking up items so that you just run over items and you automatically pick them up. These two settings, highly recommend them for you if you're going to play this game. It's not much but you never know. Now what is really important in a video game, guys? For me, I think it really boils down to the fun factor. How fun is this game, actually? Now, I want to say that the combat and a lot of the negative reviews has also agreed somewhat on that the combat is excellent. The combat is so much fun, guys. It is excellent. It actually is. But for me, actually, I have now, I feel like I'm going to be spoiled now by the speed of the traversal of the terrains and the world. It's sort of like a Sonic the Hedgehog vibe over how you traverse this game. You just hold in your button and you can climb all sorts of cliffs and mountains and you can slingshot yourself around on these knobs on the mountainsides and stuff. The traversal just feels so good. Now, going to some other game right now, they're gonna feel slow compared to this game. Now, this is setting the standard for traversing in the world, I think. And I just love kicking in doors. You can run across this land and go to a shelter and kick in the door and also run and kick open some chests. It is so fun. It is so fast. Uh, I am loving this. I can do this for so many hours and not get tired. You know, completing one section of the map after another and I like the story I really do I pay so much attention to the lore of this world also reading all the notes there's so much lore to this world actually more than you would think actually surprised me by the time and effort that they put into the lore of Athia this wonderful place now to the main critique the main character I get where she's coming from this is not your average run of the male protagonist. Now, you are playing as a female, maybe that is bothering some people, but I like Frey and it gives an interesting new take on a protagonist. She is very pissed off. She swears maybe too much, but this is something new at least. It's not like the average protagonist that we have always seen. Now in the middle of the game, yeah, she has a very unlikable face that she's going through and I was like, whoa, dude. So I think that is what people are referring to. 
The world is breathtaking, guys. Have you seen the artwork of this game? And the music. The music was good. And I am trophy hunting in this game like crazy, like I like to do on my PlayStation. <laughs> on my PlayStation. I have a PlayStation hoodie on today. Not intended, actually. But I am so trophy hunting in this game. And I am just coming in here today to tell you that I'm sorry, but I like the game. I think also YouTube reviewers are taking it too far. <laughs> they are just overdoing their critique don't listen to all of them it's probably a game that's somewhere in the middle between the hate and the love now i think this game is definitely a 7 out of 10 already and you know i actually think this game is an 8 out of 10 i'm just enjoying it a lot I'm thinking about this game when I'm not playing it, playing with my new controller. And for the first time having my PS5, I feel the next genness. This game has ray tracing. And I think this is the sharpest and best looking game that I have on my PS5 <laughs> right now. Anyway, I think Forspoken is the best game by far that I've played this year. I'm loving how she's wearing like jeans and sneakers in this fantasy world, you know? Yeah, I just really like the gameplay in this game. Let me know what you think thank you so much for watching check out the new dual sense edge from playstation and i will see you later oh i have a package also oh these are 3d printed wow guys scarlet nexus tales of arise wow skyrim the years on the coins are the release years of the games thank you necklace i appreciate that they look so cool thank you i'm gonna go and play some more